Hey you guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can upgrade a RAM or a memory of a laptop. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. This is the laptop we're going to upgrade. Let's quickly check the specifications before we upgrade. On the bottom part, right click and click on Task Manager. Here, go for Performance tab and we can see the overview or the quick specification of this laptop. Our target upgrade is the memory and you can see it's 4 GB and 82% is being used without any program running. And below here you can see a slot and one of it is being used so it means to say that the other one is free where we can upgrade. This one is the frequency. But for more detailed information about this laptop, you can use a software called CPU ID. I'll put the link on the description below. It's a quick download and quick installation so that it's going to grab all the specification of your laptop. On the first page, you can see the CPU, but this is not what we're going to look into. So go for that memory tab and you can see that this is DDR4 4 gigabytes at a single channel. Now we need more information about the memory, so go ahead and click on the tab SPD. So we have the frequency which is 2400 megahertz. And we have the slot here. It means to say that we are on slot 1. We click on slot 2. It means it is vacant. So what we're looking here is we can add a RAM. And basing on my client's request, they are going to upgrade this one with 8 gigabytes of DDR4. So we got the right specs, which is 8 gigabyte 2400 DDR4. Let's go to this laptop, turn it upside down. Now, if you're going to open up a laptop, make sure to remove the battery. So you can uh, go to the lock, unlock it so that the battery will pop up. Then you try to check all the screw here. So it's we need to remove all of this. Now comparing this one to other laptops because laptops are not the same. I'm going to show you another laptop which has an easier way to upgrade the RAM. Most of them are a bit older. We just have easy access to the RAM where we just remove two screws, pop this open and we can have access to the RAM. There you go. In our case right now, the laptop we're upgrading we need to kind of tour the this laptop apart because it covers everything unlike the other one i showed you we need to remove all the screws so that we can have access to that ram not only that we remove this one we need to turn it upside down and remove the keyboard okay so it's basically like uh, opening everything up so you need a tweezer here. You can see that there are slots here, very small slots on top of this keyboard. There's a locking kind of small switch here that you need to push so that the keyboard will pop up. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'm pushing them upwards so that this keyboard will be released. Okay, so you need to do this one carefully because you might destroy the keyboard. You can see I can pop this one open and then pull it upward slowly because there is a uh, wires here that you need to take care of. Once you pull that one, you might break that and then bye bye keyboard. Okay, so there are screws here that are holding that case at the back and uh, it is there are three. So we need to remove all of those. Two down and then the third out. Okay, at the back, we still need to remove a screw. Okay, here at the part where we remove the optical drive, there are three screws holding this case. So we need to remove all of those. Okay, so after removing that, you can slowly crack this open. Okay, step by step, don't pull it up. Just, uh, you can feel the force, but you need to do it slowly because you might break it. Okay, slowly. Okay, when I was trying to pull this one out, I felt that there's something I did not remove. <laughs> so when I open it back, there's a wire. I forgot to remove that. So you need to make sure, like what I've said, don't forcefully kind of pull it up. So I need to remove that one. 
and then push it up okay there you go so you can see that the, that's the slot one that is the slot two where we can insert our RAM this is our RAM open this one out it's brand new open that there you go we slide it in push it and then press it downwards you will hear a click the minute's lock now the next thing here is we're just going to cover this one but we're going we're not going to screw it because it will be very hard if there's something wrong and then we need to open it again so I'm just going to put this back panel first so it's ready now um, we're going to put the battery so that we are going to power it on and check if it's working before we we kind of assemble everything because if you assembled everything without testing then if something's wrong you need to open the laptop back again all right I'm just going to power it on ta-da Dell and it says alert the amount of system memory has changed yes because we upgraded it let's go ahead and click continue let's try to see if it go past the operating system okay Dell then there you go let's go for the task manager again right click on the taskbar then go for task manager then this pops up let's go to the performance voila we have 12 gig because we have initially have four then you can see the status there is lot two of two so four plus eight is twelve we can also go ahead and check this one on the cpu id software to make sure yes there you go let's go to memory yep we have 12 gigabytes and dual channel and then let's go for slot number two because that's the slot one four gigabytes there you go we have eight gigabytes now our job is done it's time to shut this down and then assemble it back all together again okay the final test there you go a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't like my videos and share it to your friends bye bye